Okay, world. Uh, this, uh, I don't like this the way they do this here. I got I believe that's going to eat its way through, you know, just being like that. Here, let me turn on the light. Okay, I think, yeah, I got the video light on. On the camera light with the room light thing on here too. But yeah, just wire tying it like that, I think that's going to chafe through. So, I mean, it's better than vibration than just letting it sit against it so it stops it from vibrating a bit. But I'm going to do, uh, I think I'm just going to put a little bit of, just a little bit of duct tape around the cap tube and then just rewire tie it the same way so you don't have metal to metal touching. You know, nothing crazy, but just try to give it some more life. I'm gonna plug cap tube on this thing or the liquid right into the cap tube there. So, uh, <clears throat> chopped off the, chopped off a couple inches and blew it out and everything's fine. Just put it back together. New dryer down below, new access valves, you know, the same thing, the Sano Sano. All right. <coughs> well, hopefully that's a little better. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. Should be. That ain't great. It ain't how I would do it if I was had a lot of time, but I don't got a lot of time, so just gotta do it. Uh, this uh, this panel right here, insulation panel, uh, fell down. It wasn't stuck anymore, so I used silicone, as you can see here, underneath this panel, to uh, stick it up there. So, and I used some silicone on the uh, capillary tube up there too. Hopefully it doesn't rub. What's that? Up there. It's like a little spot. Uh -huh. Right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looked like it'd been rubbing on the panel. There's a little mark here. They should have uh, a little black mark should have coated that uh the cap tube they should have put it in plastic tubing that's what i would have done if i was making a decent unit okay guys um how you like those pressures for a freezer i'll let you guys look at this one and tell me what's wrong with this one